Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm back with another YouTube tutorial. I hope everyone's new year is going fabulous. I hope we're keeping the promise that we made to each other fabulous here all 2019, okay? So I'm going to get right into it. I have crochet braids in my hair, and I know I fell. I'm not going to keep putting synthetic hair in my head, but life got a little busy. I got a little busy. Everything's a little busy, okay? So, I have crochet braids. I did them myself, so um, I didn't have to worry about tension or anything like that. I will leave a link below for the, the crochet tutorial that I followed in order to do this. Rule of thumb, if you want it to look more realistic, use very thin pieces of hair. Um, sometimes they tell you, like, oh, you only have to use that in the front if you want to make it look real. Like, no, throughout your whole head, it should be very little pieces. Like, you shouldn't grab more than, like, this size when you're going to install the crochet um, just makes it look better so the tools I'm going to use for this tutorial um, I have my bees honey renewing hairspray which has water and oils in it uh, the reason why you want to use oils is because with crochet hair or with any synthetic hairstyle you run the risk of creating mold underneath your hair it's a very real thing I've seen it happen to people no it's never happened to me because I always use tea tree oil whenever I have in synthetic hair and not just your regular oil um, so you just want to, you know, make sure that you're not creating grounds for anything nasty to be growing underneath the surface, especially if you have a weave in, like, please don't create mold. I've seen it. You've seen it. You've seen it. So the other thing I have is a regular spray bottle. That's what I'm going to use to detangle the synthetic hair. Um, I tend not to use oils on the actual synthetic hair itself because the sheen that it has already is enough for me. Like, I don't want to be walking like, I want your soul glow. Like, you don't need none of that. Like, no. Um, and the last thing I'm going to use is a toothbrush, and this is a regular toothbrush that I use for my edges, dual purpose. So this end I'm going to use to scratch up any dirt I have um, before I go ahead and wash my hair. I would not use a rat tooth comb because you will dig up skin on your scalp and you'll create like a sore. So I don't want you to do that because that can also lead to infection. Let's not be nasty, okay? Let's do this. Um, just also a quick update. I feel like everything is going well for me. My skin is glowing. It's on fleek. I don't know if you can tell, but I've just been drinking a lot of water. Um, also, my nails are growing. Like, these are all my real nails. Like, oh, yay, man, we got them back. Like, okay, everything is great right now. Last shot I'm going to do is Forever Audacious for this supreme beautifully made t-shirt that has a couple names right here for black history month we got sojourner we got harriet we got ida we got rosie we got mary we got shirley we got betty we got coretta we got nina we got angela we got asada like thank you very much forever audacious for my shirt i love it so i'm gonna get right into it stay tuned love you so I'm going to start off with my spray bottle that's full of just water and I go in and wet the crochet hair. I finger detangle as opposed to a comb because you get way less shedding that way. So you're going to see in a second that I don't have any shedding from this section right here. Next I go in with my renewing hair spritz followed up with my toothbrush. I'm digging up any parts of my hair that might be itchy or where I have dandruff because I really don't want to spend that much time in underneath the water when I'm actually washing my hair. Next I'm going to twist each section and I end up with about four twisted sections. I put all of these sections in a high bun and because my renewing hair spritz had oils in it i create a hot oil treatment once i put a plastic bag over my head 15 minutes later i'm ready to go I take my garlic conditioner, which is very inexpensive. It's only about $5 at your beauty supply store. I'm going in with my fingers first and working my way to the parts. Next, I will put the toothbrush back on my scalp and that way I ensure that the conditioner goes all the way down to my scalp because that is the part that matters. Shampoo, I don't use it so much when I have crochet braids in because it will dry the crap out of the crochet hair. Don't use shampoo, y'all. It's okay. You'll be fine. So, guys, I'm all done washing my hair. It only took me about 30 minutes to 
wash it the way that I was going in with the comb and making sure I did a very deep cleanse. So the last step for your crochet braids, um, and I feel like one that is a common mistake, is that you do not want to leave your hair like this for it to air dry. Um, it will be very matted if you do so. So what I'm going to do now is take my hair cream that I like. I'm just going to rub it between my fingers, and um, you want to air dry your hair out. So you want to untwist it. So I'm just untwisting it. And you still have that curl from the crochet pattern. This is a deep twist. I'm sorry I didn't say that before. So this is a deep twist curl pattern. So I'm just going to go like that, fluff it up a little bit, and that's how I'm going to leave it. So I'm just going to do that for all of them. To air dry your hair out like this, and I even go back in and try to detangle a little bit more, but um, I love the volume that I get once I go ahead and detangle and separate everything it was looking kind of mad at before but it's cute it's cute yeah cute <laughs> so this is the hair um that i will be sporting for the remainder of february we will see how long it will last if it'll go into march if i take care of it i will only wash it like every two weeks every two weeks the same routine so you can either go ahead and I'm sorry, I'm putting my hair cream on because I just love the way it feels. Like, I give myself a massage um, pretty much, like, two times a day with my hair cream. I just like to give my, my temples a massage while I'm talking to y'all. So, <laughs> I will go ahead and put oils in my hair tonight just because that's my hair type. I have a 4C, 4B hair type in the front three, in the front 4B, 4C in the back, like, a 3C. Um, so I have too many different hair textures to not be oiling my scalp. Um, so <laughs> what I will do is I will go in and I will oil my scalp with my Bees Honey Oil Blend. I added some tea tree oil as I said to you guys before. So this is the style. Um, you can go to sleep tonight like this um, if you want to pineapple method it. I personally like to pineapple method it and it has volume the first day and then I will go in and section it for the remainder of the week and the sections that I just took out. But do not sleep with your hair like that with it wet because you will wake up and it'll be a hot mess and you'll be like, oh my God, what was Lindsay talking about? And I'll be like, sis, I didn't tell you to do that. You did that there on your own. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just feel free to uh, pop a question in the comment box below yes i'm still checking my hair out because i just love the way it looks after i wash it it'd be like yes look at it all over again <laughs> like yeah okay all right um so again thank you for watching if you have any questions for me let me know check out forever audacious thank you for this t-shirt baby girl peace y'all see you later